Hello everyone, Vagar V2 here. It's been a while since I uploaded my Vagar guide on YouTube, and a lot of things has changed when it comes to runes and just the meta in general. So I figured I'd do a video, like no editing or anything, just making the rune pages that I currently use for Vagar, and yeah, maybe you can learn something because the runes in that video is a bit outdated. So let's start with mid lane Vagar. It is um, very versatile what you can do for mid lane. So in domination you have two options, Electrocute or Predator. Okay. To know which one to choose, Predator is basically if you want to roam around or get back to lane for example, what you can do is you can go, for example, if you like to play with Ghost Flash and you don't have the teleport to get back to lane, you could go, for example, Predator. But it's not worth it to just use it in that kind of sense. But if you like to roam more, then Predator is a good option. Predator also has really good burst with your ulti. But I use Electrocute. This, you always want Taste of Blood as mid lane. This rune is just way too strong right now. A lot of sustain. In low elo, like below like Diamond 1, you can go Eyeball Collection. Because you're most likely, if you're good enough, you're going to get a solo kill in lane. You might join a skirmish or something. But I go Ghost Poro because I can stack it insanely fast by using like the Trinket Swap trick. By swapping green trinket and sweeper and also i get this really fast because the way i place my trinkets i place them in a way where the ghost pearl will always spawn to reveal a, an enemy so i go ghost pearl because it's a lot more reliable it doesn't require me to be part of 10 kills and yeah also gives me that extra ap in lane always ravenous hunter Nothing else here beats it. Unless you have Glacial Augment, in which case you go Ingenious Hunter. Now secondary, that's when a lot of things have changed. Inspiration is my go-to now. Just because how broken the sustain is. I am aware that Biscuits got nerfed, but they are still really really good. Um, in lanes where you will take Harass, you must go Inspiration. It's just way better than anything else. Sure, you could argue and say, but then you lose Mana Flow Band on the sorcery tree but the biscuits mana and the time of tonic and corruption potion build makes up for that if you play properly you will not get oom um using this so what i go is this in matchups where i get poked a lot so for example like a seer maybe a syndra zoe seraph these kind of things then having this is really really good now you can be super greedy obviously and go something like this or something like this, or something like this. But it does it is not worth it, in my opinion, because this rune right here is so good for Vagar, gives you a lot of movement speed, lets you chase down people for cages, gives you a lot of sustain, and it just catches people off guard because it's harder for people to calculate their trades and their bursts on you because of the amount of sustain you have. Uh, second here, like I said, biscuits is really good. But, you know, if you are in a lane where you don't feel like you need the biscuits, you can go something like this. Especially in lower elo, it's better to go this. I wouldn't go it on my main account, just because at 12 minutes, I usually have only been part of one or two kills. So I get this stacked really slow. Compared to a champion, like let's say Talon, for example, if Talon goes this, right? He's going to get it stacked at like 8 minutes or something. But yeah, you can go something like this. You can also go something like this if you want. But in my opinion, Inspiration is a lot better than Sorcery. At least for mid lane. Now, here in this, I always go this when I have Electrocute. I pretty much always go this, to be honest. I think, like for Vagar, the 9 AP, you only feel it early game. Right? Like the first two waves, you feel this. After that, this is useless. Because of your Q stacks. So having this makes you uh, able to have a lot more flexibility in your uh, builds because you don't need to build banshees or something like that just for the CDR. And then you can go double MR or double armor if the matchup 
like jungle mid matchup is really hard. But usually I just go this. Or this. So that's my electrocute. Uh, in precision, nothing here. Nothing to go here. In sorcery, nothing to go here. Only thing would be face rush if they have like heavy glacial augment comps. So you can go something like this, for example. Or this. They're both fine. This one is a bit of a meme, but yeah, it's not that bad, surprisingly. But yeah, something like this. And then second, like again, the sustain if you need it. If not, you can go this. And then again, this. It's pretty straightforward. You should never use anything here. And these are your last options. Every three of these are viable. Unsealed spellbook. You want to go versus things like Zed, things like Fizz. These kind of hard matchups that can easily kill you. And where in these matchups you need to deny them killing you. That's what's important. Because if they don't get fed, these chants are quite useless. So versus Zed and Fizz especially, I go this. If I go this page for example versus something like Irelia, I do not go this, I go this instead. Because again, movement speed is super important for Vagar, so having the 10 extra movement speed that this gives you is super, super big. But yeah, Stopwatch versus Fist and Zed is really good. Also the less cool than on Sonya's. Here again, Biscuits and Tower of Tonic. Never change these in these matchups. And again, I go this here. Resolve second. With Unseal Spellbook. You can also go this. Conditioning Overgrowth, Turbo Scaling, you become so tanky with this. Of course, you will have less damage, but less damage in order to survive lane and scale better versus things like Zed, Fizz, Irelia. It's really worth it. And then I go Double Armor versus Zed and Double MR versus Fizz. And again, 10%. Like I said, you yes, you do deal uh, less damage with this, but with this setup, you do not need to go Abyssal Mask versus things like Fizz, and you can afford to just go AP. Like, and with this build, it's also acceptable to go any kind of mana item, um, as long as it's not Rod of Ages. So, GLP is fine, Luden's Echo is fine, and Archangel stuff is fine. I like to go Archangel stuff when I have this, because I'm scaling anyways with this, and I'm not gonna beat the Irelia Zed or Fizz. If I build GLP, like if I use GLP on the Fizz or the Zed, they're just gonna jump away, right? So, no point building for early game, in my opinion. So, I just go full scaling. And so, with this, I'm able to lane versus Challenger, Zed, and Fizz, and it's not a problem with this page. Klepto, I only use in one matchup that gets played right now, and that's Kassadin. So, here I just go this, and in Resolve, if you only go Resolve, you can go second win for his Q, and then this. You can also just go sorcery second. With this I don't go mana flow. With this I have enough mana. And again I just go tear and I match his scaling while reducing his scaling. The way you reduce his scaling is because you're now a lane bully. He has to give up some CS. If he doesn't give up CS you get so much klepto gold. So Cassidy scales slower, isn't able to beat you as hard, and you scale faster. So win-win. And you can also play it versus like tank mid laners, but nobody plays that anymore. So basically this is Cassidy and Pitch. Now the final one, and the one that I get asked the most. Glacial Augment. Should you go Glacial Augment on Vagar? When do you go it? Yes, you should go Glacial Augment, but you should also go the other ones that I said. When do you go which one? I will explain. So imagine the enemy team, right, has a lot of melee champions. Right, like a Yasu mid lane, right, or a Kiana mid lane, or something like this, Akali. And then they have a melee top, melee jungle, right, melee support. And then your team doesn't have a lot of engage, right? Your jungler is somebody like, I don't know, like Carthus, you know, Nidalee, these kind of champions. And your support is something like Lux. And you guys need help making picks. Then Glacial Augment is pretty, pretty good. You do not want to one trick Glacial, because there will be a lot of times where the enemy has like an Akali versus you, right? I know I just said Glacial is good versus Akali, but you are playing versus Akali and then your jungler is a Jarvan, right? Your top laner is a Kled, 
your uh, bot lane is Kai'Sa Nautilus. You don't need Glacial, it's just overkill at that point. So you need the Electricus so you can actually kill the Akali yourself. Now when you go Glacial, you can go Cheap Shot if you're really greedy. I go Taste of Blood and this. And again, this 10% CDR is really really nice because with this build, you're gonna be going GLP into Twin Shadows, but I go GLP into Rabadons or Magic Pen. Just because I feel like I don't deal fucking damage if I go Twin Shadows second, but I do end up getting Twin Shadows later. So with this setup, I can um, delay the Twin Shadows without hurting my CDR, and I don't need to get Banshees or Sonyas, just for the CDR reason. So that's basically when I need Glacial Augment. Like, if we need the Engage, if we need it to be able to make picks, for example, versus something like a Velkos mid lane, a Seer, Seraph, these kind of champions with, like, long range, Glacial can also be really good, because you're gonna be able to catch them. So I hope this video explained a lot and maybe you learned something about the rune pages. Uh, we can go over bot lane Vagar because it's really simple and a lot of people want to play that too. So by bot lane Vagar I mean as an AP carry, not support. You have two options, Electrocute or Glacial. The Electrocute page is this if you have a lot of CC in bot lane, like your support has CC. But again, Taste of Blood is really good rune. Always eyeball collection in bot lane, because you're going to get a lot more kills in bot. And then this. And instead of Inspiration, because we don't have Corruption Potion now. In bot lane you start drawing strings, so you go this. And in bot lane, since you have Transcendence here, you can go this if you want. But you can also go this. I go 9 AP, because my vision of bot lane Vegar is a lot more damage early than in mid lane. So I want this damage. And then, you know, AP and like MR or armor, depending on who the enemies are. And then Glacial Augment changes a bit as well. You change this, like you go from Time Warp to this. Because again, you have Doran's Ring. And second, you go this. And uh, you can also swap this to this if you want. I like Approach Velocity. It's a bit underrated rune, in my opinion. Especially on Vagar. It's pretty nice. So those are the bot lane ones. Um, if your support is something like Pike, Fresh, you know, that has a lot of engage, and it's a kill lane, I would go Electrocute. Okay? Because it's super important that you can snowball in bot lane and get kills, and that you win the trades, and you win the 2v2s, and Electrocute will help a lot with that. If you have any questions about runes, or anything, or if there's something else you're wondering, then you can put that in the comments below. If you're interested in coaching from me, I coach every role and basically every champion, if that's not a problem, then you can look in my description of this video and you should have a link there. Make sure to join my Discord, follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.